It's December and that heralds a time where Ned Stark's catchphrase, winter is coming, becomes relevant. And don't forget to purchase your new Victorian child to make sure that chimney is clean so that the fat man doesn't get blocked coming down it to provide you with lots of ugly presents. I know that's several weeks away, in fact for me it's several months away, but nobody seems to have told Poundland, M&S or every single supermarket that plays festive music that. So, booyah, get your eggnog, get drunk, and watch another round of repetitive robot action which is essentially me relying on flukes and the uncharacteristically sympathetic nature of German tanks in order to win any matches. To quote Santa, ho 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 no. Okay, so we shall we try with the flamethrower again? Yeah. So we just go back to the um yeah. When I say original weaponry we realize the scoop was well, like an original weaponry something. We could remove the drill or the scoop, which do you wanna remove? Remove the scoop, considering we're gonna be attacking from the front. Okay. Flame pistol. Right then. So stage six, a new door opens. Where to? Broadcast room. Robot Wars Arena, good old Robot Wars Arena, where I think everything I used to do was always on <laughs> the Robot Wars Arena, and now. Um, yeah. And people started complaining, it's like, oh, do something on another arena! And I'm like, no, I like the Robot Wars Arena. <laughs> but, yeah. Because like, all my early Robot Wars videos was all in the Robot Wars Arena. You ready for some... Look, Tinder, Firestorm, Flamethrower vs. Firestorm. That seems tricky. So as, as long as we avoid Firestorm, we should be okay. Mm. Although considering that Firestorm is the fastest robot on the, uh, in the arena, I think. I like how they just blatantly break the Robot Wars rules and let you have a flamethrower on this game. Yeah. I always end up playing Capture the Flag matches as if they're normal annihilators. There goes your namesake. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, kill what is now yeah, the avoider. Kill the <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Where's the flag gone? There is. Right. Barabbas was actually ignoring us and going for the flag. What kind of AI is that being sensible? Was it, wasn't this like the, uh, the war for like everyone smoking a pit? Shut up. Yeah. Oh, where was Bash? I, I swear I didn't see Bash a minute ago. Wait, how can Firestorm 3 get knocked out for getting finished? I think his flipper broke. No, I do you know what's interesting? I've real something I realised about Firestorm 3, they are the only team to have successfully tipped over both Killalot and Mr. Psycho. When did they clip over Killalot? In series two, Groundhog. They didn't flip him over, but they tipped him over because he picked him up and they were so heavy that he actually fell over. And they had to get four people to come out and pick him back up. And now we're against the Carmen. Yeah. I've already made that joke about five times, but at least somebody okay. who finally understands somebody who finally understands what I'm going on about. I've no idea what she is. Oh, um, balls. Well, is she a model or a porn I star? Think I don't even know. She was an American model who was the uh, the uh, <gasps> the the, the performance <gasps> type of character in uh, Battle Box. She was the. Uh, oh right. Was so I was more. Maybe that's what Electra's named after. Maybe it's a subtle nod that I never realised. Mm. Well, nobody's ever realised. Probably. I'll go on Robert Wars Wiki now and somebody will have found out. Yeah. Like, Carmen Electra was a reference. Electra was a reference to Carmen Electra. And I've been making these jokes all along. And actually, it's not a joke because it's intentional. 
I know Bill Nye was signed to die from They always have to have a woman on these shows though, don't they? Oh, I can't yeah. But then again, it wasn't faster like with like with Jen, because she was in like science. Well, I know she did. I thought she was in. I knew he said naturist. That means she goes naked to places. A, a naturologisty person. Na naturalist. Yeah, no, that's I the one. And I know she did Lloyd's Pharmacy advert. I think she does nature programs now. Wasn't like the sort of like. Yeah, that's the one. Was that. Is that technology or. I don't know. I don't watch television. <laughs> I've never seen this, but I think it's like technology of like the future. Yeah, I was going to say is it about gadgets. She'll be on uh, the gadget show next. I don't know why Rachel Riley was on that, apparently. I stopped watching it as soon as they got rid of Sue, Susie What's Her Face. Isn't Rachel Riley the uh, countdown chick? Yeah, Rachel Riley. She went on to do the gadget show. Well, I, I say went on, she also did the gadget show. Mm. It's interesting because at first you think, like, oh, Rachel Riley, she's just a blonde that's really pretty and they've got her in for countdown because, you know, for that reason. But she's actually really quite intelligent with numbers. I don't understand humans who can comprehend numbers because I somehow got a good GCC in maths. I've completely forgotten everything since, but. I think that's the same thing, like. Oh! Wait! 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 Yes! <laughs> That is three times in a row Bonderboy just done that. <laughs> we've won the broadcast ball. This is the most productive parts we've I've ever played. You are a good luck charm. Thanks. Have that or you make some flukily good robots. <laughs> I think we just needed to add more cows and disco balls to everything to do it. Ah, disco light, that's what it was. I was expecting a, like a glitter ball. Subway or I don't know. Yeah, let's get Subway Savagery out of here. Okay. Subway Savagery... 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 I don't know why I did a barbershop quartet of that. My brain. Weird. <laughs> oh, more animal-related robots. Hawkeye. Have that or tennis. Yeah, wasn't that quicker as well, wasn't that quicker? Yes, I think it just means any robot that... I think, to be honest, I think they call the replay camera in Snooker a Hawkeye now. It, I think it basically just... it's like bird's eye only a camera hmm. and not fish fingers. Oh look, we're up against Panzer again. Who, interestingly, I don't think ever really appeared until he was the Arena Champion. No, I don't think so. Um, because the reason why I mentioned that, like, a very, when we first fought him, because we've got the German flag, so a German flag needs a German tank. It's quite fitting. Yeah. Yeah, so we should be teaming up. This is like, um, well, insurgency. Right. Yeah. The insurgency will rise. I don't. Did Panzer ever appear on the British Robot Wars in like an extreme or something? Yes, or they appeared in the Second World Championship where they got knocked out by Panzer. They first took the Robot and then lost to Tornado and killed the Did Tornado use some sort of pit avoidance no, it was, device? This, this was back in the oh, you one. To be honest, I wish I hadn't done that. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, because Panzer Mark IV is the more annoying of the two. Yeah. Although, for some reason, Panzer Mark IV self righted us about three times. It was like Chaos 2 and Sonic all over again. Or like, um. Or kind of like a behemoth in the University Challenge when they self righted the opponent and died afterwards. 
I always find it more interesting when they flip them over and over again. It's like if you flip them over once and then... It's like in the, I think in the first series and the second, if you get flipped over, you're immediately called Cease. And then Cassius comes along with its stream mech and it's like, Oh my god! I can't believe anybody ever thought about that in this country before. Mm -hmm. It basically just involves making a robot that can... Making an, a weapon that can lift its own weight. Wait. For fuck's sake. I think we've got everyone out. Is Thunderbird 5 still alive? No, we no. pushed him off. Hey. Oh no, we flipped him over. Sorry. Thunderbird 5 seems to be coming up a lot recently. Mm. Which is interesting, because it, it never did well in anything on the show since Series 2. Yeah. How can it be the oh. first round melee when it's third round? No. That's just... There aren't any animal-related robots we're up against this one. We've just got the moon. No. No. The moon. Um, we're fighting the moon in this part. We've got Joust and... The Argo. The thing is... Oh, we've got another flamethrower. Hello. Mm. Isn't this the second first round melee we've had in this tournament? Yeah. I think it was... It was... Yeah. No, it was, it was I think like Annihilator, Annihilator, first round melee. I think. Oh, no, right. no, the first one no, was cause... Yeah. The first one was the first round melee, yeah. Then it was Annihilator. So this is the third round melee? Yeah. Unless this is acting as a sort of semi-final, so it's the first round of a semi-final. Mm. <laughs> Just for good measure, we'll get both of them off. We came first for once. Now we get Argo. That's alright. It doesn't have a flipper, so... Hopefully it's not another Annihilator. Thank... Oh, fuck. Maximilian and Tiger. Two flamethrowers. The one... So apparently flamethrowers get through now. Mm. That's the new thing. Coercive commentary kicks in. Part 25-ish. 26. And now I start... Being able to call things. I think it's... Did... Did we ever contribute to the actually ever crew? The action. Ooh. Just need to push them all. Push them all. Just kill yeah. everyone. Oh, sweet thing, fellas. I would say kill it with fire, but... but it's oh, not the most effective weapon. Fight. What kind of weapon... Sorry, what kind of robot has wooden armor with a flamethrower? Touche. We've got Maximilian, and we've still got Tiger. Okay. It's battle with the flamethrowers, this mm. one. What's the point of having a flamethrower tournament? Well, a battle. If you're going to extinguish the flamethrowers every single time. You kind of reminds me of, um, I know you don't watch a wrestling, but... Uh, I uh, don't watch pants. WWE, I, I catch the odd TNA. Yeah, uh, in WWE Extreme Rules, Kane uh, and Daniel Bryan had a WWE Championship match. Kane, like, set, like, a table on fire, jumped through it, and then instantly everybody came and extinguished the fire before he could, like, do the spark. And so then, like, Daniel Bryan pinned him after everyone extinguished Kane. So this basically, like, fire. The last time I watched it, wrestling it was a TNA match. That's really annoying because if that had gone any earlier, Tiger was off. Oh, he's off anyway. It was two old wrestlers sat in a ring doing an arm wrestling match. And when one of them lost, these like two other rope wrestlers just ran on screaming like, oh my god, you that was not a victory. You cheated. Or it's like... That's basically like Impact Wrestling and uh, they just said a story. In which everyone celebrated uh, a defenseless woman being put through the table. Yeah. Shall we see if any more tournaments are available for Mr. Magic Flipper Man? Yeah, That's I think his it's 10,000 foot having a feeling more which is left. Then we have a few. The name of this tournament implies that like Godzilla's going to appear or something. Like a Godzilla Pacific Rim. Just like, <laughs> and they have eyes. 
We've got flame throws galore. No, we haven't. We've just got the one. I wonder if any robots ever had two flamethrowers on it. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I mean, I know on the show you went. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> on the show you weren't allowed to, except Sergeant Bash because he's special. <laughs> I'm thinking of that so both times in the Japan arena. The first thing we've done was just commit suicide, like, stay off the back. <laughs> yes, but we, at least with really Big Cheese, it was... It was, um... It took a while, and I'm gonna call that one an assisted suicide, because yeah. I was pushing somebody else off at the time. If it had been a head-to-head, -head, we would've won. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> We're gonna lose this one, then, if it flips us over and doesn't flip us back, which it has done the set the last two times we met, because it's a nice robot. If we talk about it nicely, say that it's German several times. Maybe it's because we've got the German flag that it keeps self-writing us. Yeah. It keeps changing its mind. It's like, hmm, shall we invade Poland? Shall we flip the Moonbot back over? Hmm. No! I didn't even do that. Well, we got nowhere near winning, but 